welcome to this lecture so in this lecture i am going to start with the new section and uh, this new section is basically relating to the approximation methods for the bound state bound state so this is basically the section c of syllabus of himachal pradesh university so so let me introduce this section briefly so for its introduction let us proceed as follows so first of all let us talk about purpose in quantum mechanics or the purpose of quantum mechanics in general purpose of uh, quantum mechanics our purpose is to solve the schrodinger wave equation right so we are interested to solve this schrodinger wave equation and there is a problem that the exact solution is not possible yeah or the exact solution of the schrodinger wave equation is possible only for very few problems exact solution possible only for very few problems for example harmonic oscillator particle in a box or another very important problem that is the problem of hydrogen atom and for other atoms and the molecules we are not able to exactly solve we will the uh, schrodinger wave equation so for this various approximations are needed are needed to solve the schrodinger wave equation and generally we talk about two types of schrodinger wave equation two types of schrodinger wave equation one is time dependent and another is time independent time independent schrodinger wave equation and it is time dependent schrodinger wave equation and in this case and in this case the hamiltonian is independent of time and hamiltonian is dependent upon time and this leads to stationary state solution
and in this case We will talk about three types of approximation. Keeping in mind uh, the bound state. So first is the known as perturbation theory. And second is variational method. And third one is the WKB approximation. And we are the Hamiltonian is time dependent. That means this deals with problems of atomic and molecular spectroscopy and emission and absorption of radiation and emission and absorption of radiation And here, we will use time-dependent perturbation theory. So, this is a brief review of this section. And we will talk about various problems like uh, Gman effect, Staric effect etc in this chapter so and in the next lecture i will talk about perturbation theory and i will describe the meaning of that what is the meaning of perturb right so thanks for watching this lecture